Oh, let me take my metaprol off. You have now entered the bloodstream. We hope you enjoy your stay. Welcome to the Receptor Dating Game. We have three lovely receptors here to meet you. Hopefully you can find your match. Let's meet our lovely contestants. Let's meet our first contestant. Hi, I'm Alpha One. I'm a romantic. I love long walks on the beach and summertime. Lovely. Now let's meet lucky contestant number two. Hi, I'm Alpha Two. I like the outdoors and I like to go camping and hiking. Well, isn't that wonderful? <laughs> and last but not least, lucky contestant number three. Hi guys, I'm Beta One. I'm a crazy one. I like to sleep all day, party all night, and go to concerts. <laughs> isn't that fantastic? Well, now that we've heard a little bit from each contestant, let's see who you're most compatible with. Oh man, it's not a fit! Gee, well, girl's not a match. I found my match. So, Metoprolol, who do you want to choose as your lucky receptor? Beta one. That's my receptor! That's my receptor! It's mine! It's mine! I challenge you to a duel! We'll sell this after this commercial break. Do you have a history of hypertension in your family? Are you nervous that you could be at an increased risk for such a problem? We have Dr. Fran here who's going to tell us a little bit more about such a disease. So, Dr. Fran, can you tell us a little bit more about hypertension? Well, yes, of course. Hypertension affects nearly 1 billion people worldwide, especially in developing countries. Hypertension also is the number one leading cause to cardiovascular disease, which, if you don't know, is the number one cause of death worldwide. Many people consider hypertension to be a silent killer because you don't feel it in your body. So it's important that you get your blood checked regularly by your doctor so they can check the level, your blood levels and make sure everything's okay. So would you be able to give us a few examples of things that we can do in our everyday life that can help decrease our risk for hypertension? Well yes, of course. Some really easy tips that you can use in your everyday life would be one big one is to decrease your salt intake. An excessive salt intake dramatically increases your blood pressure, so you definitely want to stay away from high sodium products. Another thing you can do is eat lots of bananas. They're rich in potassium and will help to lower your blood pressure. Lastly, another everyday thing you can do in your life is to substitute any whole milk or any other milk you're drinking with skim milk. It's healthier, less fatty, and will decrease, help to decrease your blood pressure, or at least control it. Oh, thank you so much, Dr. Fran. Thank you. Taught us a lot that we didn't know, and hopefully our audience will learn a lot too. Welcome back to the Receptor Dating Game. There's only one way to settle this. Receptor Idol! First up, with her song, is the lovely Norepinephrine. Give it up for Norbert Ethan, everyone. They tell me they don't like you coming around here. Don't wanna let you find you better disappear. I'm gonna inhibit your bond so you can't cause your effects. So beat it. Just beat it. Good job, Norepinephrine. Next up is Metaprolol with her song. Give it up for Metaprolol, everyone. So beta, fine to me. Cause we have affinity. It's fine, it's meant to be. So beta, fine to me. So, 
Beta 1, the question that's on everyone's mind. Who do you choose? I choose Metoprolol! Congratulations! So, norepinephrine, it was a hard loss. How do you feel not being chosen by Beta 1? I think Beta 1 made an awful choice. <laughs> I'd like to thank all of our lovely contestants for playing the receptor dating game. Join us next time where we feature pseudoephedrine as he tries to find his true love. That's all, folks. See you next time.